good everybody, Jamie Reviews here, and today I want to bring a little something different to the channel. I know many of you guys are runners, and I'm sure some of you like to hit the gym every once in a while to obtain some of those gains. So I wanted to test out a training shoe that I really caught my eye. The Adidas Crazy Train Elite. Meet Emily. She's a recent college graduate, has an Xbox Gamer score of zero, and is a five-time Ghost Gym Leg Day Champion. So before I start, I am reviewing this shoe from a perspective of a runner. I am not a powerlifter, a bodybuilder, or a crossfitter. I'm just someone who needed a shoe for a weekly leg day. Okay, so back to the shoe. The upper is made up of reinforced engineered mesh. And believe me when I say reinforced, because it is tough. This helps with the structure and durability of the shoe. I can't imagine ripping a hole in this thing. Breathability wise, it was okay. Your foot won't melt from the heat, but you won't be feeling any kind of ocean breeze either. But you'll likely be in the gym, so you should be okay. So we noticed the women's version of the shoe has this sock liner material that goes to the top of the shoe. And it also has a pull tab at the heel, both of which are not in the men's shoe. I mean, I guess that's cool and all, but what about us guys? We like pull tabs too. Anyway, the Crazy Train Elite is a boost version of the normal Adidas Crazy Train with a full length boost midsole. Now my first thoughts, don't you want a training shoe that's a bit more stable? Isn't boost too soft or unstable for lifting? Do you want to be sinking into the boost while you're doing squats? So to clear the air, the midsole works fine for all exercises that we try. Squats, jumping, lateral movements, jump rope, it did fine. The boost gives a slight comfort feel, but the boost has a much more firm feel to it than normal boost. Maybe because the boost is caged and it can't spray out too much. Or maybe it's just a slightly modified boost. Whatever they did to it, I'm glad they did it. So no fears on having a full boost midsole. The outsole uses a multi-surface tread made up of rubber. For indoor gym use, it worked great. When making cuts, there were minimal sliding. When squatting or lunging, the shoe gave a very good base for our feet. We didn't slip once. The outsole does great indoors. So the Crazy Train Elite is a very interesting shoe to me, but I can see it as a solid option for anyone needing a dedicated training shoe. Besides the upper being a bit less forgiving, it was fine. And maybe I'm just used to uppers of running shoes. The shoe fit great, toe box is fine, so I really don't have that many complaints. So when it comes to the Adidas Crazy Train Elite, Emily and I do approve. Impressive. Thank you for watching, and as always, you can follow my featured guests on social media in the description box below. Let me know what you guys think about this shoe. Have you tried it? Would you rather just use your running shoe as a shoe for the gym? Let me know. With that said, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. Later.